Okay, so um, I see that you need help with this question. And so what you have to do is um, you have to find, I'm going to call this X and this Y, okay? And the first thing that you have to do is you have to find the sum of these values because you have to find the 80% 80 80 confidence level. So if I total these up, 210 plus 286 plus 213 plus 329 plus 173 plus 188. So that's 1,417. And I'm going to divide that by 6. And that's um, 236.2, say. Then, so this is the mean. And I'm going to need that to find the standard deviation. So um, the mean of the of the three months after the course, 237 plus 295 plus 182 plus oops, 237 plus 295 plus 182 plus 347 plus 192 plus 179. And so that's 1,432, divide that by six. And so that is 238.7. Okay, so what I have to do now is I have to find the difference between the mean and the each value. So I'm gonna take 210 minus 236.2 and then I'm going to square it, and I'm going to get, so this is for my x, 686.44, 286 minus 236.2, and I'm gonna square that, and that's 248 point, oh, 2480.04, then 213 minus 236.2. Then I'm going to square that. And that is 538.24. 329 minus 236.2. And then if I square that, I'm going to get 86118.84. Then I have 173 minus 236.2. That and then squaring that is 3994.24. Then 188 minus 236.2. And squaring that is 2323.24. Plus three nine nine four point two four plus eight six one one point eight four plus five thirty eight point two four plus two four eight zero point zero four plus six eight six point four four. So that's one eight six three four point zero four. Divide that by five. And then I get 3726.808. And then I'm going to find the square root of that number. And that's 3726.808. And so the standard deviation is going to be 61. Okay, so I have a standard deviation of 61. Standard deviation, 61. Okay, now I have to do the Y. So I take 237 minus 238.7. Squaring that is 2.89. 295 minus 238.7. And then squaring that, it's 3169.69. 
182 minus um, 238.7. Squaring that is 3214.89. 347 minus 238.7. Squaring that is 11,728.89. 192 minus 238.7. Squaring that is 185502.49. 179 minus 238.7. Then squaring that, it's 3564.09. Plus 185502.49 plus 11728.89 plus 3214.89 plus 3169.69 plus 2.89. So that is 20. 7182.94, then um, divide that by 5, and that's 4143. Uh, something's not right here. 3000, 11,192. Hold on. 192 minus. Yeah, it's the 192. 192 minus 238.7. Then squaring that is, yep, knew something wasn't right. Right here. So that is 2180.89. Okay. Plus 3564.09 plus one one seven two eight point eight nine plus three two one four point eight nine plus three one six nine point six nine plus two point eight nine and that is two three eight six one point three four divided by five and that is four seven seven two point two six eight then you have to find the square root of that and that is standard deviation of 69 okay so 69 so now what I'm going to do is if you find critical value or critical um, inter interval and you're going to do the mean. So this is for before. So the mean of 236 plus or minus um, 1.282 times 61 divided by um, 6, the square root of 6. So 61 divided by the square root of 6. That is approximately 25 times 1, 2, 1.282. That is about 32. So 236 plus or minus 32. And so that would be 204 to um, 268. That's before. And then after would be from, let's see, 239 plus or minus. 1.282 times 61 divided by the square root of 6 times 1.282 is 32. 
So 239 plus, oh, my standard deviation is 69. 69 divided by the square root of 6 and then times 1.282, and that's about 36, plus or minus 36. So that's 203, 2, um, 36 plus 239 is 275. So that's after. So I hope that this video helps you. This is the middle school math teacher signing out.